Unconfirmed reports now coming in from Zurich, bringing the total number of countries experiencing attacks over the last hour up to 12. And we are still waiting for word from our Washington Bureau since losing contact with them approximately 20 minutes ago. Explosions or some type of attacks have occurred in cities around the globe. The attacks are accompanied by power surges, large-scale blackouts. At this time, we do not know the exact nature of these attacks, but they do not appear to be conventional explosives. Some have pointed out, and this is still just speculation, these attacks appear to resemble the incident that took place at the Juno Particle Accelerator in Aventine City on Sunday morning, though authorities have been calling that an accident. What connection the incident in Aventine City could have had uh, to these worldwide attacks is, at this point, unknown. Uh, being told now, we've established... Oh. That sound. Make it stop. Where is that noise coming from?
Hello? Dr. Morales, did, uh, you just call me? Eddings? Ed. Yeah, it's me. Oh, good. Listen, I need your help with something. Now? It's like 6.30 in the morning. On a Sunday. Is it? I didn't wake you up, did I? Don't worry about it. What do you need my help with? Direct them to the point as usual, I see. First, I need you to confirm something. Did you finish those equations I gave you on Friday? Yeah, just last night, actually. Good. Do you have the results? Got them right here. How close were our estimates? Spot on. There's definitely an inverse relationship between attraction and proximity. Dr. Morales, you still with me? I'm here. It's truly astonishing, and wait until you see my proof. You were right all along. This is a vindication of... I'm going to destroy them. Them? My research, the data, the results. I'm destroying it all. But Resonance, it's your life's work. You can't just... I've been here all weekend thinking about it. This isn't a scientific or a mathematical dilemma. It's an ethical one. And trust me, I much prefer my problems to be hypothesized, tested, and quantified. You're wrong. It is math. Everything is. The potential for good far outweighs the possibility of misuse. You can't deprive the world of such... Danger? Someone's been following me, Eddings. I know it. Just please, don't destroy anything yet. I'll come in right now. I'm on my way. Wait for me. Sorry, I'm really busy. Oh. Um, excuse me? I don't want to be rude, but I've got to read these reports for work. Oh, it's just that... Did you drop this? <laughs> oh my god. Thank you so much. I can't believe I dropped it. If you hadn't picked it up, I... It's more than just a regular coin, I take it? You could say that. Look, sorry I tried to brush you off there. It's just, you run into a lot of creeps in the subway and... Right, I understand. It's special then, the coin? I guess it's kind of my lucky charm. It's kept me out of trouble for almost 20 years, so I guess that's something. Twenty years? kept a coin for that long? Yeah, I guess I just got kind of attached to it. No, I mean, I would have lost it ages ago. I lost a car once. <laughs> How does one lose a car? Long story. I'm too absent-minded. That coin wouldn't last a week in my pocket. Especially if I kept taking it out and fiddling with it like you do. I do that? Oh, uh, what I meant was, you know, I, I see you on this train almost every day, and I just happen to notice. I promise I'm not like a stalker or anything. Huh. All right, all right. You're right, though. I do fiddle with it, don't I? Yeah. Well, I would have lost it today if you hadn't picked it up for me. I guess I really lucked out this time. I'm glad I could help. Where'd you get the coin? Well... Oh, 
Never mind. Forget I said nothing. I mean, you're probably looking for some way to escape this conversation, and here I am asking personal questions. No, I appreciate the conversation. I just... the coin is just something I'd rather not talk about. That's your stop coming up, isn't it? <laughs> I thought you said you weren't a stalker? I'm not. I just noticed. Yes, I'm off at the next stop. Next stop, Aventine Central Hospital. Will you stand clear of the doors? Right on cue. I guess I'll see you around. Thanks again. No problem. I'm Ed. Anna. Nice to meet you. Likewise. The doors will now close. Please stand clear of the doors. Just you and me now. Hey. Hey. Now you have the key to my treasure. Keep it safe, okay?
dawn in Aventine City. The sun's beams glide between the buildings like a man's strong fingers through a dame's hair. The sight made me realize just how long I've been out here. Some low-level cat burglar caught breaking into the computer chip factory uptown had named this post office as a contact point for his buyer. Normally I'd say this wasn't the kind of lead that warranted an all-night stakeout, but the chief's dogged insistence that I drop this case pretty much guaranteed I was going to follow it through. Why did she want me off this case so bad? Could the chief have some connection to this criminal organization? I had a lot of questions, and my gut was telling me exactly two things. One, that I was hungry. And two, that it was Reggie's turn to go get some donuts. Uh, no. I got us those sandwiches a couple hours ago, remember? Yeah, but you didn't get the donuts. So, how did you get the chief to sign off on this stakeout? Oh, right. About that. If anyone asks, we were patrolling the neighborhood around the arson all night. I'm not gonna get reprimanded for this, am I? Relax, Reg. Sir! What are you doing? That guy came from the alley. We don't have visibility down there. Which means when he leaves, we're gonna lose him. I've got to get us a better line of sight. How are you gonna do that without them seeing you? I don't know. I'll grow some eyes in the back of my head. This is against regulations. You're out of the military now, Reg. This is police work. Sometimes you gotta pick which orders you're gonna follow. And other times, you gotta make your own orders. Detective Bennett. Going radio silent. Be careful.
Gotcha. What was that? Getting the job done. By breaking orders? How many times do I have to explain to you? This isn't the military, Reggie. It's police work. Sometimes you have to make hard... What the hell was that? It looks like a blackout. And it's back. All's well that ends well? I guess. Anyway, I hope you were paying attention from up there. To you, breaking regulations? To me, adjusting the operation's parameters based on changes in the field. Permission to speak freely, Detective Bennett? Not the military. What I saw was unnecessary, irresponsible, and hasty. We could have redeployed tomorrow with a better vantage on the alley. Reggie, these guys could have moved on by tomorrow. Sometimes you have to call an audible. Besides, I got what we needed. All's well that ends well. That kind of ends justify the means philosophy. Never cut it in the military. Welcome to the police force, Detective. Bennett, do you copy? This is Bennett. You notice that citywide blackout we just had? Looks like it's all lit up again now. Yeah, and so are the phones. We've got little mini emergencies all over Aventine, calling in all available officers to help out. What can we do? There's a subway car stuck near Humphrey Street Station, and we're getting reports of a fire over at Juno. So send the FD. They're deployed all over the city right now. We're trying to direct them where it's needed most. Could one of you check out Juno and the other help out on Humphrey Street? Radio back if additional emergency services are required. A sure thing. Thanks. Reg, you get the subway. I'll check out the fire at the lab. Yes, sir. <laughs> 